Gordon Ramsay's yelling at him. <laughs> Seventeen-year-old Gia Parr came out as transgender three years ago. I've always known I was a girl since I was two. I just didn't really have the words for it. Now a high school senior, the teen has found those words and put them to paper as one of the co-authors of a kid's book about being transgender. The word transgender, I feel like it can be such an adult term and it can sound so scary. And to put it in words meant for kids and to be able to educate them is so important. The books are being released as part of a global storytelling campaign led by 18 young people like Gia from around the country. It's going to help people really see um, the, this incredible growing community for the beauty and positivity uh, of who they are. Jen Grosshandler is the co-founder of the Gender Cool Project. They provided this video of their nonprofit advocacy group that's collaborating on the campaign with the publishing company A Kid's Book About. Most people in our country tell us they've never met anyone who identifies as transgender or non-binary, including our children. And we are changing the world. The youth-led Gender Cool movement was inspired by Grosshandler's own family. Her youngest child, Chazzy, proudly identifies as transgender. I find it so important as just a 14-year-old for someone to accept me for the way I am. The series of books share personal stories about being transgender, but also non-binary. The third book in the series tackles inclusivity. Our books, they fundamentally work as conversation starters, not conversation enders. Jelani Memory is the founder of A Kid's Book About. These young people, they want to be seen as individuals, as people, as um, fine and okay the way they are, that they are happy, that they're healthy, that they're whole. Um, and that's really true about all of our books. This is where I keep my makeup. For teens like Chazzy, the positivity of this storytelling series, she hopes, will be eye-opening for people of all ages. It just, it means a lot to me. And I know there are so many people in the world who aren't accepted. And I just hope that they know that they are left for who they are. Gia Parr says her dream is to return to her elementary school to read her book and support others. It would have been really important for a student like me sitting wondering why am I like this or who am I? Why do I feel so quote unquote different from my peers to know that they are in good hands. All three books are already available for pre-order and expected to hit bookshelves in June, just in time for Pride Month. In Chicago, I'm Usher Qureshi reporting.